learn which features are available in Festo Automation Suite for CPXAP systems. In order to work with CPXAP systems, you need to have the CPXAP plugin installed. Like any other plugin, you can install it via Backstage Repositories, Plugins. Or by entering the part number or name of the device in the Catalog of Topology Editor. In the category AP Devices, you then find all devices with an AP connector, for example CPX AP IIO modules, valve terminals, or interface modules. The connections for AP communication can be created automatically when adding modules on Topology Editor. You can activate and deactivate the Auto Connect mode again via the Chain Link button in the page title bar. Modules within a terminal can be configured in the CPXAP plugin. In order to do so, drag modules from the catalog to the desired position in the terminal. You can replace, move and delete modules. Like in many other places, manuals and other support documents are available in the right sidebar. Module parameters can be set up on the individual sub-pages. This is mainly relevant for systems that are to be connected to Rockwell PLCs via Ethernet IP. In this case, open Backstage, Export, Rockwell L5X after you have set up the parameters and choose the desired systems. In case of Profinet or EtherCAT, the parameters are set up in the development environment of the PLC by using device descriptions. With one exception, when using Festo controllers, parameters are set up in the CPXAP plugin and then applied to the EtherCAT startup parameters automatically. A more convenient alternative is to import a CPXAP system from the device scan. This can be done either via the device scan section. or via the right sidebar of Topology Editor. You can also import AP modules later from within Topology Editor. In order to do so, set up the target address in the plugin of the interface module and start the AP scan via the context menu in Topology Editor. For displaying process and diagnosis data, first open the plan of the respective module and connect to the system. The parameter page process data shows you the status of all input and output channels. If you want to take control of an output channel, for example in order to check the wiring, you can enter the desired value in the column prepared value. Activate the prepared values via the toolbar button, force all. A warning in the connection area indicates that force mode is active. While you are connected, the diagnosis state of each module is shown in Topology Editor. The Diagnosis Page Device State lists all active diagnosis messages of a module. For the Interface Module, the Additional Diagnosis Page Error Log provides you access to the message history stored in the device.
On the page system state, you get an overview of all connected modules and their technical data like firmware version, supply voltage, cable length and current diagnosis status. If you want to update the firmware of one or several modules, you can do so in the device scan section, like for other devices.